I'm Anwar from Doric. Here in this video, I'm going to show you how to add stripe button in your Doric site. So to do that, you need to edit your site or create a new project. Add a new section. I'm going to select a section from section library. I'm going to select this section and I'm going to replace this button with payment button. So what I'm going to do is uh, delete this element, add new element, payment button. And from there, as you can see, Stripe is already selected by default, but we have two more payment uh, service provider. Uh, we'll show them in a separate video. Uh, you, you can type whatever the text of your button will be, uh, what type of payment you are receiving. Uh, now I'm going to show you a uh, one-time payment, but later in this video, I'll show you a recurring uh, payment. So what type? of this button will be is it a pay button is it a booking button or is it a donate button so depending on your selection you will see different type of button in stripe uh, checkout page okay so here are the two most important things here which is the price id and the uh, public key publishable api key okay and but but before doing that let me show you what what other options you will get in uh, stripe payment button you will get almost all the styling you get with regular uh, buttons. So like alignment, is it full width or not? Okay, then what color it will be? So almost all the things you get with regular button. So here I'm going to show you how to get price ID and how to get publishable key. So, okay, let me get my publishable key first. You need to log into your Stripe dashboard. I am already logged into my test account. So from here, uh, click on this, get your API key. But if you don't have this section here, get your API key, you will always get it under developer from API key link. So select your key from here. But remember that this is a test uh, publishable key. For live website, you will need to get the live uh, key which is here live API key so I'm gonna copy the publishable key and paste it here into publishable API key input field for price ID I need to go to stripe again and add a product I already have two products added but let me add a new product just to show you how simple it is uh, test product 2 you can add a description, you can add image if you want. What button, uh, how much the product price will be. Let's say it's $20. Remember to select one time, but later when we implement recurring payment, we'll just select recurring tab, that's it. If you select recurring, then you will need to select the billing cycle. So is it monthly, is it every three months, or is it yearly or not? That's it, so let's, let's select one time for now and save this product. Okay, I think my product has been successfully added. Okay, copy this price ID. Uh, don't copy this product ID. Uh, you will get this price ID under uh, pricing card. Okay, so copy this price ID and put it into the price ID input field. That's it. So where the user will go back after successful purchase, you, you can create a success page in Doric and then put the URL here. And if you leave the input field empty, then the user will get back to your home page. Okay. So for simplicity, let's not create a new page and uh, leave it empty for now. So let's publish this page. After publishing this page, let's visit it. okay i visited the page i have this button here let's click on this button to go to stripe checkout page okay in the stripe checkout page i can see the price of the product and the name okay using this email and the credit card information for testing purpose i can get testing payment credit card information from here let me copy this put it into here any future date Name on card, testing, testing, pay. After successful payment, you will see this tick and get back to your homepage or whatever page you uh, insert as a success payment.
payment page and here you will see that this user has been successfully subscribed okay now let's create a subscription uh, subscription button so for that you just need to change this payment type to recurring and or subscription and add a price id of a subscription so the existing one what you have created for uh, one time purchase this uh, id will not work here for recurring so you need to uh, either you need to make that uh, product recurring or you have to create a new one so let's create a new product with subscribe uh, subscription model uh, what i'm gonna write here is test subscription one and the standard pricing this time let's uh, put it 99 usd recurring remember to select this and the price will be yearly save this product after saving this product you need to copy this price id and put it into price id input field then publish the page again visit the page click on this button okay subscribe to test subscription and 99 per year and here you will ins insert some information let me subscribe to this uh, subscription plan let me copy this uh, card information email will be subscription at the rate and I am so that we can differentiate between others even the card testing subscribe after su successful subscription you will get back to the home page or the success page you inserted into uh, Doric Builder your user should be subscribed to your subscription model so let's go back to uh, stripe and the payment link and from there you will see that a new subscription from this user has been added okay that's it guys thank you so much thank you for loving doric bye